What's up guys, it's Editing Cam coming in hot. <laughs> so I just wanted to preface this video by saying that I understand that loads of people might be over the drama and if that's the case, please sit this one out. I'm not doing this to annoy anyone. I just like need to share my side of the story for those people who are interested. And if you're not interested, just don't watch this one. Uh, don't worry, like regular content will resume right after this one. This is my probably in my last video unless something more dramatic happens but hopefully the drama is winding down at this point because it's getting a little bit childish so I'm not really keen to continue like that like for me the max is about three videos or maybe four if something is like uh, big enough sorry about this but I just feel like I had to talk about this one because uh, she featured me very very heavily in her video um even though I'm a third party and I'm not involved with her group chats in previous whatever, like I, I have not, nothing to do with any of that. I don't even think I was aware that the anti-MLM community existed at that point in time. So, okay, um, I'm out of here. I'm gonna let you get into the actual proper video. <laughs> Bye. Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Cam. Thank you, please subscribe. <laughs> if you're not new and you keep coming back again and again, thank you, I really appreciate you. Okay, we have more Emilia drama, or should we say Kimberlea? Because actually I think that Kimberlea is behind all of this. If you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, although I think if you saw the thumbnail in the title, you probably know who I'm talking about, but here's like a little summary of what happened recently. So, or should I start six months? I don't even know. Six months ago, Kimberly and Emily, two women who had made content anti-MLM, decided they're no longer anti-MLM. Kimberly has recently come out to say that she's joined the company Monet, which is a multi-level marketing scheme. And Emily has returned after six months of basically having made some um, content that nobody was interested in and now she wants to be anti-MLM again but she doesn't want to be in the community and she's now crapping all over the anti-MLM community and she's calling people toxic and she's saying that she's been cancelled when she hasn't she just left on her own nobody asked, asked her to nobody like did anything to her so she has so far released two videos, the first one where she returned and she was claiming she was cancelled, the second one where she claimed she has receipts and now there's a third one in which apparently she has a bunch of receipts. So in this video I'm gonna look at this third video, I'm going to give you my thoughts as per usual. You know that I like to strike a balance between giving someone attention and raising awareness about a topic and part of my strategy of not giving more attention to people that I don't think deserve more attention is not including their videos. So what you're gonna get is my thoughts and my reaction. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing the video, I've not watched it already. You're gonna get a genuine reaction because I've not seen it before. With that being said, I know <laughs> where we are in this uh, situation, I suppose, in this drama. And by the way, I love a little drama. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I have an announcement. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. You guys, I just reached 5,000 subscribers. This is insane. Thank you very much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I love our comments. I love all this stuff. And I'm really glad that we've kind of managed to create a little bit of a community, I suppose. And I wanted to give you, give something back because obviously you guys have been so nice and have supported me. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to me on YouTube. Drop a comment below with a way of me to contact you. Make it either an Instagram profile or an email and also be following me on Instagram. The deadline is this Sunday the 14th, by the way. And after I have all the submissions, I'm gonna use a random number generator that will generate a number. I'll pick the person that I assigned this number to and then I'm going to send you something through Amazon basically. Okay I hope this goes well it's my very first giveaway ever so you know but um yeah uh let's get into the video. Oh my goodness she, this is 46 minutes. It still has the uh, likes to dislikes ratio in the comments turned off so yeah, Emily is still not keen to have a conversation with anybody. So with that in mind, let's start. She starts off by saying that she has screenshots and proof of this group chat, that it may not be the only group chat, but it's proof that this uh, happens in the background. I'm glad she's saying this because 
this scripture has been mentioned quite a lot, and yet everyone that I know in the anti-MLM community, I've asked about this group chat and they didn't know. <laughs> Savvy doesn't know about the group chat, or at least she didn't know when she messaged, because she commented on my video. Madison from Cruel World Have You Mind doesn't know about this elusive toxic group chat either. These are the two people that I asked about it, and or we, you know, we reached some sort of conversation regarding that. But um, I'm actually really, really curious to hear what this whole group chat thing was and who was in it. The existence of a group chat doesn't necessarily mean there's something shady going on. Again, I feel like unless he shows proof that there's been some toxic stuff that's been said uh, about her, then I don't know, you know, if just the pure fact that a certain group chat would exist, that if that's necessarily a bad thing. She then says that she is going to name names, that she's going to just basically talk about what happened to her. And that's something that I actually encourage. If something has happened to you, come out with it. I don't think people should be silent in the face of you know, bullying or abuse that is like happening, especially on the internet. I'm actually looking forward to this. About six minutes in, she says that she's been silent throughout all of this and that creators have taken this as weakness. And I'm not one of those creators. I actually have said that, uh, or I don't know if I've said it in a video, but I was thinking that this is what Kimberly should have done, exactly what Emilia did, instead of like, making it a big deal and like being like, oh, I'm joining Monet and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, instead of doing that, I thought she should take a page from Emily Leanne's book. If you leave, just leave and don't be inflammatory. I, I was saying that, or again, I was thinking that. I don't, I don't actually remember if I said this in a video. I'm not one of those creators that have taken her silence as weakness. In fact, I thought that her silence is strength. I, don't, I think this is more weakness because at this point I kind of have the impression that she's been in contact with Kimberlea and that's because Kimberlea has messaged, uh, has commented under one of my videos saying that she watches for her. So, you know, the fact that she's associating herself with Kimberlea and the situation, I'm not really sure about. I feel like that's kind of a bad thing. She then goes on to say that there's been creators who have messaged her for an interview and then they made a video to bash her. I don't know who these creators are. What I do know is that Madison from Curl World Happy Mind said that she wants to give her a voice, but she didn't actually necessarily, she didn't actually go on and bash her. She just said that, you know, she supports her in her comeback and stuff like this. And I have a, I have a recording of the story in which she talked about it and she showed this proof. So I'm just gonna insert it here. She's saying that she turned off the comment section because of her mental health and because she's a human being, not because she's weak. And... Okay, I respect that. I, I, I get it, I guess. I, I think it's a, it's a strong thing to do because I feel like you don't have to read the comments. You know, I, I, like you can just turn off the notifications and not be notified about the comments. And what, if once you turn off the notifications and um, you, they don't just pop up on your phone all the time, then you can just go and check them out if you want to. That would also kind of make it easier for people to express themselves, but also, you know, she wouldn't be notified about like nasty comments or whatnot. Also, just for the record, YouTube filters nasty comments. And if you, if there are further words that YouTube hasn't filtered through, you can just block those words and then they will just go into a different folder and you don't see them. So there's that option too. So if you really are just concerned about nasty comments, that is not like incredibly hard to do. But I think this isn't what she's afraid of. She's more afraid of the uh, criticism that she can't face. But again, turn off your notification. Don't just silence people. I'm now at eight minutes in. By the way, this video is very long. She's saying that she's been shoved into a corner and she's not being told not to speak. I think that she should speak up if she has something to say, which is hopefully this video. Hopefully there's not like another three, four videos um, being made about this situation by her. But no, you should always speak out if something happens, like that's fine. The problem I have with what she just said here is that I don't think anyone shoved her into a corner, like nobody cared. She just 
you know, we basically forgot about her for like six months. I'm now at 10 minutes in and she started talking about Savannah Marie's video that has been deleted. I personally don't know about the Savannah Marie video. At the time, I just made like a few videos about Rachel Hollis and I collaborated with Savvy, but I wasn't really aware of a larger anti-MLM community. I only became aware of a proper community recently. Um, Actually, when, when Kimberlea left, that's when I became aware that there's an anti-MLM community. Hi, it's me, Cam Editing, coming at you in my underwear. <laughs> Basically, um, since two hours ago when I posted this video, it was brought to my attention that Savannah went on her Instagram stories and uh, talked about this whole situation with Emily Leah. And Emily Leah is not as innocent as she's making herself sound in this video. So apparently, not only was Emily Leah in a group chat, but she was also talking crap about Savannah. And this is why she sent Savannah a voice memo, memo in which she was saying, actually, um, basically in a very apologetic way, that she was talking crap about Savannah. So why are you now complaining? Why have you been complaining about Savannah making a video about you when you have been talking crap about Savannah? <laughs> the first screenshot she shows is from a conversation between Savannah Marie and someone else. We can't see who it is. But basically she's just saying that there's people in that group chat talking crap about her. The screenshot doesn't say anything about Emily. <laughs> The second, uh, the second screenshot she shows is basically a story from Savannah Marie uh, that in which she showed a hate comment. Um, so far, I don't see anything about her, and I hope you know there's another thirty minutes to go. So uh, I hope she does have some sort of screenshots that like are related to her directly, because the whole point was that she was cancelled, right? She's trying to make the point or she's been trying so far with two videos to make the point that she's been cancelled by the anti-MLM community and that there's been things against her. This is not against her. We are 15 minutes in and she's saying that it's not okay to have a group chat in which uh, creators are teaming up against someone or something like that and she posted a clip of Savannah basically um, insulting someone. Uh, a group chat is private, so I don't really, I get that it's maybe kind of a petty thing to do, but having a private group chat to talk about things or rant about things or whatever, I'm not sure that's like a bad thing. If anything, you shouldn't do it publicly. I would say it's much better to have a group, private group chat than it is to just kind of do that publicly. I don't agree with Savannah insulting people either, but like I can see how sometimes you get irritated because like I got irritated and I swore a lot in my previous videos about Emily because she's going in circles so much it was just getting really irritating. She's now showing a group chat that includes a bunch of creators in the anti-MLM community. Uh, it doesn't have a date. There's no date. There's no way to know when this was. So, uh, but Kimberly, I was in it, so I'm going to go ahead and assume this was before all of the uh, drama. In the previous video that I commented on, she talked about how she was manipulated by, by the whole entire anti-MLM community. And now she's saying when she, um, and now I'm at like 20 minutes in, She's saying that if she, when she said that, she actually didn't necessarily mean manipulation. Maybe she just meant pressure. We also talked about the fact that she called it pressure because I, or I, or I talked and I know that Savvy also talked about this. And uh, Savvy kind of felt the same as I did, as I noticed in her video because I was watching. It's a coming of age thing. It's not pressure. It's learning to say no. And she hasn't yet learned to say no because of age we are assuming I don't know but it's like or her personality or whatever but like somebody DMing you saying can you please cover this doesn't mean you have to cover that and doesn't mean they're pressuring you to cover that there it just means they're expressing their desire that you cover it because they want to hear you talk about it it's not pressure one thing I noticed in her video she says Things like Isabella Lander, Lander, what is it? Diana Mims, I believe it's her name. It's like 
dude, you know these creators, you know of these creators, you know these creators. Just stop pretending like this is the first you've heard of them and that you don't know their names. It's a little bit fake, in my opinion, to do that. And also just very reminiscent of like, you know, the whole Kimberley thing is like, I, I have been made aware. Like we could probably like create a meme of some sort at this point with I have been made aware. 21 minutes in, she's now saying that she actually, like she's very like shocked. Like, do you think I want to milk the drama? It's like, yes, you keep saying this is about you. And so far we're 20 minutes in and not a single like screenshot. Maybe the one Isabella made, but like that seems recent. But not a single screenshot shows that six months ago you were cancelled like you claimed to be so yeah not only are you milking the drama you're creating the drama it's a it's a whole thing okay she says that these creators have not let her uh, defend herself how exactly did that happen you are in charge of your channel you were in charge of what videos you put out if you put out a video then it's on you like it's not anyone else's decision unless your channel is being owned by these creators like I don't understand how exactly were you not able to defend yourself and how are you able to defend yourself now like are they saying yes to you now you can defend yourself now uh, that makes no sense to me and I don't like it when people make these kind of arguments that are I'm sure they have some sort of name <laughs> in the debate world but like these arguments are like bullshit because they are not backed like how did they not let you defend yourself she says that this is a group chat that exists and there's a list of people who are included and that perhaps well, they weren't engaged but they were definitely in the list of members and okay <laughs> just the sole fact that you say this is a group chat that exists and there's probably many diana commenting somewhere to say that she was not included in the group chat maybe she meant another one like i don't it just seems like a bit of a reach in my opinion i feel like if, unless you know like what reason do you have to believe that this is the group chat the one that you show the members of if you don't know that this is that group chat in particular then you can't say that those people were in it like i just it's just such a like confusing random argument to make. I don't know about you guys, but when I want to talk about something, I want to know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to just say, oh, there's a group chat. There's like other group chats. Here's a list of people in a group chat. They must have been in that group chat. I don't know if it's that group chat. Like it's just, that's like, this is such a ridiculous argument. Like we can't just like go in circles like this. You should not be talking about this if you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought this is like just conversation 101, but apparently not. We have to like put it out there in the universe. You don't talk about things you don't know unless you're asking questions, but that's not, this isn't what she's doing. She keeps saying that she's defending herself, but so far I've, not, I've seen nothing against her in particular. Okay, next. She is saying, uh, there's an account, uh, I don't know what the name is, Cruel Happy World, her name is Madison. Like, dude can you just stop with this charade of not knowing the names you've been in the atmlm community you are always suggested even i'm suggested content from these creators stop pretending like you've never come across them before like this is the first you've seen she's now posted a screenshot from madison's uh, from Madison Crew World Happy Minds Instagram story where she says that she was not involved in the group chat but recently uh, they came together like the creators from the anti mlm community came together to talk about I know about this uh, this is recent this happened in February of 2021 she says that Madison was in this particular Instagram group chat that she uh, that she has a screenshot from um, as of as in the member the list of members Cruel ho happy world mind. It's cruel world happy mind. Stop pretending, Emily. Stop pretending. It's not a good look, and people can see through that. Like you're being way too transparent about this. This fake ass. I don't know. Like lack of knowledge. She showed the screenshot in which cruel world happy mind Madison messaged her to inv invite her on an interview. I've done this with Kimberly. I've done this with Madison, with uh, Creep Show Art, with Tiffany Ferg, and other creators that I've invited for an interview. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Having a conversation, having an interview, 
talking about it, it's not a bad thing. And in that same breath, she says that it's interesting how these creators are saying, are, are milking the drama, but here they are trying to make a drama video, but uh, when she's making a video, they're saying she's milking it. I don't think Madison said that. So I feel like she's just kind of constantly generalizing instead of being like, this person said this and this person said this and let's just judge them based on what they said, not what, not what on other people said. Like you can't say creators are milking the drama when Madison has not made a single video. I'm struggling to follow her logic because her logic is a little bit flawed and I have a, I have a theory of why that is. I'm gonna talk about that after the video. So far so we have another 10 minutes to go. Another 22! Oh my god! Okay, have, we have another 22 minutes to go. Hi, it's editing me again. Sorry for all of the interruptions. But basically, I felt like this point was not very well made, so I'm just gonna make it here. So, at this point in the video, I'm talking about how Emilia is taking a job at Madison from Cruel World, Happy Mind. Um, and I feel like this is really uncalled for, unnecessary and gross, because basically, Madison has been nothing but supportive to her. In the beginning, when she first started making anti-MLM content, she has messaged her to say, I like your content, blah, 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 stuff like that. Emily Lea never responded. Madison didn't take that personally. This all is in Madison's stories, and I'm going to insert a clip from her stories here so that you can see. And now, recently, when this whole thing happened and Emily Lea came back, while I was very cynical about Emily Lea's return, Madison was actually really, really nice to Emily Lea, and she said... Um, she wants to interview her and she wants to give her a voice and she is very supportive of, of her. And Emily Lea is somehow turning this into a bad thing in order to take a job at a pregnant person who has been nice and supportive to her. This makes no sense. And it's also gross. And I don't appreciate it, Emily. I, I don't think that's fair. Maybe I'm slightly biased because Madison and I are friends, but I've also been aware because she posted a public video on YouTube saying that her pregnancy in the first tri trimester was very hard and in her stories she has said several times that she's been distressed and she needed to take time off for her mental health and stuff like this and I cannot possibly imagine that for someone who needs breaks for her mental health and is you know affected by this drama I cannot imagine that the stress is doing her and the baby any good so I don't really appreciate like doing this turning something supportive and nice that she said to you into something nasty in order to cause her stress when her when she's pregnant and her pregnancy has been difficult and this also goes to Kimberly because Kimberly has also been very very freaking active in her Instagram stories and obviously she's also taking a job at Madison because you know she's the biggest creator I guess in the anti-MLM community except for Kiki Chanel I think is there anyone else who's bigger I don't think so so I guess you know, with Kimberly's engagement and Emily Lea's engagement previous to coming back to anti-MLM, I can see why they're picking on Madison. But yeah, it's a little nasty. It's a little gross. I don't stand by it. I don't like it. Sorry, but this is really low. Once again, in 2020 and before February, I was literally never involved in a group chat. And that's why you will never find me actively involved in a group chat. You will never find screenshot of me saying something in a group chat because I have never been actively involved in a group chat before, ever, before February of 2021, on my freaking life. Apparently, Emily Leah made a video trying to make it sound or look like I was involved in a group chat because I was like listed as a member. I had no idea what that group chat was, so I asked around and apparently the Emily Police on Instagram created a group chat for an anti-MLM website she was making where she asked people to send photos of themselves. Everyone send it, sent photos of themselves and the group chat was deleted in two days. I know other anti-MLM creators are going to talk about this, but um, I didn't even know that group chat existed, so I never even sent a photo. I never even participated in any group chats. Literally, on God. And Emily, a DM like 
two weeks ago um because i noticed or two or three weeks ago because i noticed that she was coming back onto youtube or she like made an announcement about that and i was like i would love to share your story and support you in whatever and if you want to come onto my channel do an interview about your experiences and where you want your content to go like i would love to support you in that way yeah funny how that's made to look like it's bad i'm like that's just sad reason why there was literally never any screenshots of me participating in a group chat or saying anything in a group chat is because I never participated in a group chat. I've never even said anything. I started a group in February of 2021 to speak with anti malem creators on how to move the movement forward away from drama. And that is the only Instagram group chat I have ever participated in and will ever after this experience. The best thing is I thought that Emily Leah had something that she really actually experienced like actual bullying or, or harassment to speak on i thought she actually had maybe something that someone in the community or movement was being terrible i was like yeah she deserves to speak on that and defend herself and i literally made an instagram story saying that yesterday because for a while i thought maybe she actually has something valid to say now that i've seen what she has actually said and know that in my case it's absolute crap like it's absolute nothingness i'm just like what what was all of this so instead of just creating your own content and just coming out with like videos you're passionate about you're trying to like start wars and pick fights with people and i'm just like dude i've never done anything to you i wanted to support you i reached out to you like initially when i first found your chat channel trying to be friends you never responded i didn't take that personally um after all of this went down i reached out to you saying hey if you want to come on my channel and you ever want to you know um do an interview and i would love to support you on that never responded so i really don't know how to help you anymore i don't i have taken accountability when i've done things wrong because no one is perfect and we all make mistakes but in this situation i literally have not done the thing i have been accused of at all i have not participated in a group chat like this, and i have not publicly or to a bunch of people talked crap about emily leah if you've seen my videos that i've done on the anti-malem community drama or whatever i've even spoken highly of emily leah said i don't have a problem with her because i never have at this point it sucks because i wanted to take what was being said seriously and now it's very clear to me that this whole thing was emily leah and honestly kimberlea's attempt to poison the well and make it look like everyone is so bad and everyone's done something so apparently emily leah just posted a video um first accusing me of like being involved in this group chat because apparently my name shows up that i was added to a group chat once and i don't know what that group chat is and i have never really participated in a group chat ever um she also shows like my stories and a message i sent her i'm gonna post all the messages i've sent her on this instagram story um but yeah i uh thing to me is she posted a like screenshot for my stories so she's clearly watching my stories as i'm talking about all of the mental health and struggles I've been going through with the pregnancy and to try and rope me into this and she knows I have nothing to do with this I have not ever participated in a group chat just feels gross to me it feels so gross to actively go after someone that you know is pregnant and has literally stated multiple times that I'm trying to focus on my mental health it's just like it's so sad to me and i wanted so badly to believe that she was a good person with good intentions it's pretty clear at this point that this whole thing was not emily leah sharing her story that's not what it was about it was a vendetta from emily leah and kimberlea and it's sad because i was actually really supportive and wanted to hear her experiences um so yeah this whole thing was just like it's really sad it's sad that she's trying to rope me into it because I have nothing to do with this. I have nothing to do with what happened to her at all, at all, you know? And I was the one that literally made an Instagram story when her first video came out. I literally made an Instagram story saying like, 
be careful what you comment. Like there's some really intense comments I've been seeing. It's too much because I didn't agree with some of the comments I was seeing on her initial video. So to wrote me into this when from the very beginning, my thing has always been exactly the same. It's sad, like you lost a supporter, honestly. It's my mental health and right now like my family is the most important thing to me and my pregnancy and my physical health is the most important thing to me. So I just can't associate with anyone. I can't talk to anyone. I have to just keep to myself right now. Those two videos on K for the same reason I make all of my other content. When I see people being wronged, I want to speak out about that. And I saw a lot of people being wronged in that situation. A lot of people being thrown under the bus, still being thrown under the bus. A lot of people being scammed and just being taken advantage of. And that's why I made those videos, but I don't wanna be associated with drama. I do not want my channel or me to be seen as like a dramatic person. And that's because I feel like honestly, partially responsible for the amount of videos that have come out about these subjects. I feel like I started that, I made it, I made those videos because I felt like it needed to be talked about. There was some seriously messed up stuff that happened. But um, yeah, it kind of started a chain reaction and now it's very clear Kimberly is very upset at me and wants to make me seem just as problematic. I've never actively participated in drama and it really makes me sick to my stomach that anyone would think that I'm that way. And I hate being roped into drama because I made a video on this situation where to me it was drama it was this is a scammer who has hurt people and i'm gonna talk about that don't you think in my original videos if i knew about the group chat i would have talked about the group chat because there was so much speculation and i genuinely had no idea what anyone was talking about if i knew i would have shed light on that situation but i had genuinely no idea this whole thing is really sad either emily leah is being led to believe that people were involved in the group chat group chat that were not involved in the group chat or she knows that the people she's speaking about weren't involved and she's still choosing to spin this narrative. Um, I also am starting to question if there even was a group chat because I've asked so many people about said group chat. The only information I got was there was one group chat that was about a lot of Instagram creators. I highly suggest watching Amanda MC's video on that. Um, and apparently that one, they were talking about a lot of YouTubers, but like, that's the only thing I've heard, so I highly even doubt that. Right now, I just have no idea how to handle these types of situations. When someone just says something that is blatantly not true, is completely against who I am as a person, and they have no proof, no evidence, they're just like saying it's something that I did not do. I'm always like, do I speak on it publicly and make it into a bigger deal, or do I not say anything, and then these lies can continue to be spread? I'm just like, I genuinely don't know what to do with these types of situations. The only thing I can think to do to exonerate myself is I'm going to show all the receipts I have, which is just the DMs that I did send to Emily. And um, I'm also gonna look and see if I can find the Instagram story where all of this kicked off. I was asking people not to send hate comments or mean comments, and I was asking people to um, you know, go easy on someone. So yeah, I, my story has always been the same. I don't know how else to say that. Please, if you have any advice about should I talk about situations like this or does it just make things worse or what should I do when like someone's accusing me of something that I didn't do, like please DM me, let me know if you have any advice because you only have no idea what to do in these types of situations fascinating editing i wanted to say really quickly um getting hate on the internet does suck it does suck a lot um the more videos that i make i'm learn to like take it in as constructive criticism the moment wrong um not even constructive comments but just like a huge wave and influx of like these really really um negative comments like i i do i i I guess I just kind of more all the more videos I'm creating kind of understand how crummy of a feeling that could be. Being people accountable is extremely important, especially if you are an audience member of someone. 
intense negative pile on just because even just a small fraction I just I really don't want someone's mental health going through a lot of trauma and um, so I guess I'm making this story just to put it out there if you know um, you are thinking about She's now shown a screenshot where it shows that the MLM police is the admin of this group chat. I'm not really sure what, what this proves. Like, she's so far, honestly, like, I'm so over how much she talks about nothing because so far we're 25 minutes in and all I've seen is a list of creators being added to a group chat by the MLM police. I'm not seeing any toxic messages in this group chat. I'm not seeing anything. I freaking hope she is showing me in the next 22 minutes. But like, I, how much time are you going to take out of our day with your crap, Emily? Now she showed a screenshot from a Savannah Marie story where she said, let's not stir shit up from 2020. And she says, and this is something I'm dealing with. What exactly are you dealing with, Emily? So far, you've shown <laughs> nothing that you are dealing with. So far, you're just showing screenshots of people's stories saying, let's not make drama. And that might be because they had a Zoom call and they were talking about how to move forward. And maybe this is part of the move forward planning. You know, maybe they don't want to talk about the drama anymore as part of the anti-MLM thing. So maybe that's what this is about. But regardless of what that's about and her saying, let's not stir shit up, I still don't know how exactly this affected you personally. Okay, so <laughs> screenshot that she particular she shows. So this is how you've been cancelled, Emily, because she shows this screenshot where it says, I've never heard of Emily. Fine. Do we love her? Do we like her? Do we like slash love her? I only have a small issue because she took some of my posts. I could tell they were mine because it was before I know how to blur out faces. So I used the sticker. No credit. But beyond that, she seems fine. That's the... F that's the group chat that bashed you? They said you seem fine? What? Is this real? Like, hold on. Wait, maybe there's more. Let me just wait until the end. I'm reading these. I'm, so I'm reading this uh, screen recording. And they're just talking about MLMs and stuff. No, nobody's talking about her. Like, what is she talking about being bashed? That person said, even though she didn't give me credit for this, I think she's fine. And she's just taking an issue with the question, how do we feel about Emily? That's just like a fair question being like, what do you guys think of this person? It's just a different phrasing of it, but it's not like a bashing phrasing. Do we? And also she says, do we like or love her? She's not saying, do we hate her or something. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, she's talking about me. It's not a product placement. I'm just like, Talking about, I'm, I'm too small of a creator, you guys, to get a product placement. <laughs> That's so funny. I just, I just linked it and it's an affiliate link. But like, if you guys were to buy this, I would get like five cents. It's not like uh, anything. Oh my God. Ah, uh, here she goes again. Like there's an anti-MLM creator, CC Suarez. It's CC Suarez. It's like a creator in the anti milan community that's well known she's pretending again my fake drama that has affected me so badly these six months okay i might leave that that short snippet in there because it, how is it, okay so she's saying that this has affected her for six months but she so far has not shown a single thing that is bashing her Made me question everything. Fake drama? Yes, the drama is fake. The drama that her and Kimberlea have created, well, sure, maybe it's not fake because they've created it, so it's pretty, pretty real, but they've created it. I don't know how exactly you've been bashed, Emily, how exactly you've been canceled by the anti-MLM community when you've not shown a single screenshot that shows that somebody has said something nasty about you. 
I you, have my... She says, I wish I could take a mental health break. I thought you, that's what you did for six months, no? What, <laughs> what did you do then? She says, I don't want pity at uh, 33 minutes in. We still have like 12 minutes to go, you guys. This is insane. You know, has there been bullying in the past? Yes. Is there some to this day? Hear it from me. Yes. And you want to... She says there's bullying to this day. And she says, yes, hear it from me. Show me, show me some bullying. I want to see some sort of bullying that make you think that you've been canceled by the whole entire anti-MLM community. Show me. Because so far what you showed is that somebody said, like, do we like Emily? And somebody said, yeah, she's fine. That's not fucking <laughs> canceling you. What the hell are you talking about? Are you deluded? Is this, is this person delusional at this point? Like, I, I feel like it sounds like she is. I don't know, she sounds like completely unaware of reality. She's now saying that, <laughs> what does Isabella mean by her messiness? The messiness is you coming out and saying you're not anti-MLM anymore, um, bashing an entire community, coming back six months later, being like, actually, I'm still anti-MLM, but I don't want to be in a toxic community. That's messy. <laughs> That's really, really messy. Uh -huh. What allegations? She keeps saying people have made false allegations. What allegations have people made about you? Show me one allegation. What have they said about you? I personally think I've handled myself pretty well. Are you deluded, Emily? I'm so sorry, but are you on the same planet as we are? Because you've not handled yourself well at all. She now played, we're at 36 minutes in. <laughs> she now played, uh, clip like a voice memo from somebody who doesn't like her this could be anyone this could be a subscriber this could be a hater this could be anyone and this is a voicemail voice memo sorry um about her i'm pretty sure that there's people who dislike me heavily that could probably say things like this but you can't just say this is the anti-mlm uh creators who were in a group chat talk bashing her like this could be anyone this happened i need to go check i cannot exactly remember but i'm pretty sure it was in september um if you look at her youtube channel you can see her very first anti-mlm video that was not her first video she deleted her first video that was full of false information she was lying out her ass talking about how she went to beauty school she had no idea how beauty school even worked in that video so I don't know what the she's talking about um, second of all that video was 100,000 percent complete false information and I was a part of that MLM but getting out at the time and I had commented on it about it and all of a sudden she deleted the whole video I wish I would have screen recorded it now she's a fake ass bitch who has her own motive small business and merch shop you fucking steal ideas that's all she does she's a oh her channel she's about to lose her youtube career dear i can guarantee it she's a fucking bitch like i showed you that's uh then she says that her motive would, what what would her motive she says that she doesn't agree with the idea that her might that <clears throat> she says she doesn't agree with the idea that she might have a motive and um okay I don't know what motive other than content she could have. I personally don't think she has one. I think she just wants to be a content creator, in my opinion. That's just me. But um, she says that she has this, she has then, she says, but then she goes on to say the whole thing that you know, even her and Kimberly have said that this, the content was all based on bashing people. First of all, she's put it back on her channel, so she's made it public again. So if she thinks that this was all bashing people, why didn't she just keep it private like she had made it? And second of all, that's just her content. And also Kimberly has been doing that. I never made content that was bashing people. Like she says, I never like did reaction videos. I never, you know, like... Me doing commentary video <laughs> videos and calling people out is not bashing people. If you do things like this, you must expect that people would talk about it. In fact, I have a feeling that maybe she did it knowing that it would bring her some sort of relevance because she became irrelevant. Okay, so then she put, placed the clip from my video in there and she says that she's not winging it. Are we anti-MLM or anti-small business? I can't keep up. Uh... <laughs> I am anti-scammers, so just let me just put that out there. I don't care if you are an 
an MLMer or if you are a business owner or if you have a small business, business or a large business, I am anti-scams. So she says then that she never claimed to be an expert, she just wants to help people. You saying, oh, I'm going to not make anti-MLM content and then move on to, and I want to just make a business podcast because I'm a businesswoman and I want to share my experience in business. But you don't have any reason to believe that your business is good enough for you to give other people advice and for you to help people. When you do that, you're not helping people. You're screwing people up. And by the way, I am a business owner, just so you know. I am a journalist, I'm a documentary filmmaker. I make films for television for uh, channels such as BBC Scotland. And they are like short form sometimes and long form sometimes, like 30 minutes long. So I know more about business than you will know for a long time because I have had the experience of actually like hiring people. I've had the experience of actually like delivering a product, which is films, but it's still a product. I've had the experience with working with like high-end commissioners. I've had the experience of working with people of any kind of um, background. Sorry, Emily, but your like level of business expertise is probably a fraction of mine. And I have not gone ahead to say to people, let me help you with your business. Let me teach you how to do business. Like, you should just let the experts talk. I don't think I'm an expert and I am 10 times better than you at business, probably even more than that, because I've actually done it. I know what it's like to actually hire people. I know what it's like to have employees. I don't know how big your business is with jewelry, but I don't think that you get to tell, tell me that I don't know business, sorry. And for the record, my uh, business is a production company that makes films. So I don't have a physical product. I don't know what she's doing with physical products. I. Uh, had like a campaign of merch but that's a different thing and that's not related to my actual work here in Scotland. She's saying that nobody deserves to like have someone ang angry about her. I was literally smiling in that clip. I'm not angry about you Emily. I don't care. I'm a commentator on YouTube and I am a film director in real life. On YouTube I commentate on drama, on anti-MLM, on you know whatever all these big MLM companies come up with, whatever these motivational scammers come up with and I'm also planning a bigger series about like Scammers and stuff. Maybe you should just look at my content before you say that I'm angry. <laughs> this is what I do. I just commentate on it. I give my opinion on it. This is what I built my channel as and I don't see how that's a problem. You've done this with anti, with MLM people, right? You've done this a lot. You've commentated on a lot of MLMers uh, content. So you've done the exact same as me. So don't just like be like, oh, look how negative it is. She's now saying that she saw early on that there were groups of people being made and I assume group chats and stuff like this. But she just shared like some screenshots that somebody else sent her of one group chat. So why are you just like generalizing things? Why are you making things sound worse than they are? Why are you making them sound bigger than they are when they're not? We're now at 43 minutes in. Um, she's reiterating what she said before, which is that we need to adjust how we go about things. And um, the thing is, Emily, you have uh, rejected the anti-MLM community. Uh, you have obviously pushed me away, even though I'm just a commentator and I was just commentating on things. I'm sure it's not pleasant to see videos about yourself, just like, but at the end of the day, I don't have anything against you. Um, I just, don't think that the way you're going about things is right. So you do need to readjust things. I have stayed true to my channel's mission and uh, that's it. I've, I just commentate on things I find problematic. I find that you, what you're doing right now is heavily problematic and I'm commentating on it. And uh, yeah, I think my opinion is just as valid. So I don't really think that you need to be in the group chats. Like you've not been in the group chats as you claim and you're commentating on a group chat, you're giving your opinion, right? Even though those people were like more than nice to you, even though Madison from Cruel World Happy Mind was more than nice to you, you're commentating on it and you're saying they're bashing you when they haven't. You're saying that somebody contacting you to say, come on an interview, let's have a chat is, you know, problematic. It isn't, it isn't. 
this is what television is based on. Have you ever seen newspapers, television channels, etc.? This is what I do. You're saying I don't have any business expertise, but you do? Like, based on what do you think that you have more expertise than me? Because I think I have a successful business going on and I think you don't. She says, this is my proof, this is my evidence. This is not evidence. You have shown nothing. You, what you showed is that there was a group chat and people were in it. What you showed is that there was a message saying, do we like or love Emily? And that there was a message who said, we like her despite the fact that she didn't give me credit. That is not bashing you, that is not canceling you, that is nothing to do with the drama that you claim that other people brought on to you. You have not brought a single message that actually is, pro well, actually uh, the one, the voicemail, but that's not like, I don't know who that is. Nobody knows who that is. You don't even know who that is. That could be a hater. As far as I am concerned, I can't really take that seriously because it's none of the people like, you don't know if it's any of the people involved in this group chat. So you can say the group chat is toxic and they're bashing me in a group chat and listen to this voicemail from someone I don't know. Like, that's, that's an insane argumentation line. And that's not fine. So... I don't know what you're doing here. This is ridiculous. This is the kind of messiness that people are talking about. This is not like... A, you don't have proof for anything you're saying. You're just saying things. She says she's just as confused as the viewers. Well, you shouldn't be. If you say you've been cancelled by the anti-MLM community, how can you now say that you're confused? Like, you came up with a claim and now you're saying you're the one who's confused. No, no, you made the claim in the first place. Therefore, you should be quite clear rather than confused. You should be clear on what you're talking about. So, no, the viewers are not in the same boat as you. I know that you're trying like this parasocial relationship thingy here, but that's absolute crap. Sorry, Emily, but like, you should, like, you're not, like, I know you're young, but you're not that young. You're not like seven and you don't understand the world. You're 19. Well, I was wondering why I got so many subscribers yesterday, honestly, and I think this is why, because I didn't post the video yesterday, so uh, I was just a bit like, where are they coming from? Anyways, so uh, let's just conclude the situation. Basically, this was another waste of my time. <laughs> Sorry, but I, this was a 45 minute video with three receipts, that had anything to do with the situation. The only one that was bad was from an anonymous, I don't know, it was an anonymous, but some person that she doesn't even know who it is. She doesn't even know this person is in the group. Um, what the hell do we make of this? I don't know what to make of this. It's, it's, it's hilarious. I don't have a problem with her putting me in her video. Like I said before, I stand by everything I said. I am uh, like, I, I still, after three videos of her explaining her side of the story, bringing her receipts, I am still not sure where she got the idea that she was cancelled. Like, that's not fine. If you were indeed cancelled, but you were unable to convince people through three videos, then you maybe weren't cancelled. Maybe just take uh, some time and have a little think and see if you are indeed right because you sound like you think you're right and you sound like you think you're a victim. You're not being a victim. You're just creating things out of nothing. I'm not creating anything here. I'm just talking about this drama. <laughs> and I know you see it differently because obviously I'm talking about you. But I talked about Kimberlea before and I talked about other things before and other drama that happened on YouTube before. This isn't personal. I have nothing against you. Wow. Okay. What a right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. And if you haven't subscribed, please do like this video if you like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!